Hello you guys and welcome back to my walkthrough for Mass Effect 3. We are continuing on, we are in Sanctuary, which is on Horizon, and we just found out that they were turning the refugees into husks, so let's go ahead. And I think we have to kill some husks here. This really sucks. <laughs> Shutting down the power. Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. It should keep them out of the entrance as well. Kai Lang. She doesn't know he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. Excuse me. Oh, shit. I can hear him. I hate husks. Okay, let's go ahead and throw our turret down there as well. Where they came from. Is that it? I have a bad feeling about this. I can't believe that you would actually use people in these experiments. Oh. Must be left over from the attack. Oh shit, where is she? Hey beautiful. Okay, there's also Get the fire on them! I see him! I'm using a med pack for first aid. Where is she? I can't. Is she behind something? Or is she just bugged out? Okay, there she is. Well, that was interesting. Okay, now I'm interested. What is in that room? Oh. 
That room is now open for me. Oh, it was just another way. What's in there? Okay, so it's just an empty lab. And I don't think there's anything to pick up in here. But let's just double check. Stuck. Dr. Nuri's legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down the will was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline and its cross species equivalents is most effective and efficient. What kind of monster does this to people? I don't get it. Henry Lawson. I don't either. The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. I'd really like to know why the Banshees have a bloated belly. Okay. Terminal's damaged. Hang on. The Reapers wish this place to be shut down. Maybe we'll find answers. It doesn't make sense. Not Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? Yeah, you got it, Commander. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? Your choices will become less appealing as the Reapers devour your galaxy. The shipments. They might lead to the elusive man. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Progress update. Rejected subjects have proven useful for preliminary genetic testing. The death rates are 100% of course, but the data gathered is critical to improving subsequent testing on vi viable subjects. Note, only approved personnel with Alpha 3 and above level security clearance are allowed access to the genetic waste testing area. Be aware that security branches of any kind will result in an immediate contract termination. Oh, security breaches. Hmm. Now, I'm guessing that... Oh no. I hope she's not in there. Uh, I'm guessing that... They're testing on humans to turn them into husks so that they can see if they can control the reapers, is what I'm guessing. Tech quarters, check your fire.
this angle. That's so horrible. I couldn't imagine turning an innocent person into a husk just to see what they are like. We're very close. Understanding the indoctrination process is one thing. However, turning it to our advantage is proving to be quite another. This is assembly line science. The sheer brute force of numbers and repetition is doing the thinking for us. Effective, but discovery happens at a pace. Looks like these guys are all dead. All these husks. Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. He's talking about controlling Reaper forces? Is that, is that possible? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know where the Reapers attack Sanctuary. They deduce Cerberus's plan. That bodes ill for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Commander, there's more. Damn it. I hope she's ready for him. Hmm. A terror memo. In an effort to streamline our waste elimination process, a high grade liquefaction compound has been added to our alkaline hydrolysis disposal system. Our goal is to ensure that our processing system can meet the expected processing ratios as more subjects arrive at this facility. As a result, personnel must wear level 4 hazmat suits at all time while in the disposal area. I would love to know how many people came to Sanctuary. Did the statistics in the beginning say how many? I don't think it did. getting these barriers from
thought something bigger was heading for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and search this perimeter. Doesn't look like we can get up here. Watch your step. What? Okay, come on. There has to be something around here. Look like there's nothing over here, just through the doors. We have underestimated the strength of the Reaper signal. They are here. The Reapers somehow know what we've learned about them. Releasing husks. I can't move. What's happening? Oh my god! Did they know they were turning into husks? That's horrible. Come on. Shepard, over here! Oh, sorry, I hit my microphone. <clears throat> this will get us closer to the tower. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. This way. Okay. Is that two brutes? Yeah. 
Oh. Stay out of their reach. More. It has to be. Fuck. They're all coming from that room up ahead. Let's get over there. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. Take it. Is that it? Okay. Looks like Caden's running along to continue the story. Exit ahead. Let's move. Let's just make sure that we've got everything that we can pick up. There has to be something around here. Pod 1, Foreign Material Present, Pod 2, Pod Integrity, Compromise, Pod 3, Subject Deactivated. Ooh, should we manually override them? Yep. Did it do anything? Okay. This one has a foreign material. What is it? Oh, it's a gun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that basically was just so you could unlock a new weapon. She could go in deeper. That's what she said. No, but <laughs> it would be nice to be able to go deeper into these labs. Can I not go in? Okay. Tower access granted. Okay. So it looks like this is moving on to our next part. Uh, this is where I'm going to end part two of Priority Horizon, and I think that part three will be the end of Priority Horizon. I want to thank you guys for subscribing, liking, commenting, and I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned.